Hello, my name is Annie Doe, and I'm doing a presentation on logical fallacies. Fallacies are weak or illegitimate arguments that don't support one's claim. Simply put, they are errors in reasoning. How does catching fallacies help our writing? Being able to recognize these fouls will help us avoid errors of reasoning in our writing and critique the validity of other writing, overall strengthening our writing. So what is an analogy? An analogy is a comparison of two things to show the similarities. An analogy explains one thing in terms of another to highlight the ways in which they are alike. For example, A is sim similar to B, B causes trouble, therefore A also causes trouble. How can you tell if an analogy is weak? Through three factors, truth, relevance, and number. For truth, the comparison should be similar in ways we assume. For example, if two novels actually have completely different plots, one being an office romance and the other a, history, a horror story, then the argument is obviously unacceptable. For relevance, even if two objects are similar, we also need to make sure that those aspects in which they are similar are actually relevant to the conclusion. And for number, if we discover a lot of shared properties between two objects and they are all relevant to the conclusion, then the analogical argument is stronger than when we can only identify one or a few shared properties, making it a weak analogy. Here is an example of a weak analogy in the Simpsons episode. Ah, not a bear in sight. The bear patrol must be working like a charm. That's specious reasoning, Dad. Thank you, honey. By your logic, I could claim that this rock keeps tigers away. Oh, how does it work? It doesn't work. Uh-huh. It's just a stupid rock. Uh-huh. But I don't see any tigers around here, do you? Lisa, I want to buy your rock. The overall analysis is, Homer and Lisa Simpson notice that rocks in the Bear Patrol have a similarity, which is that they don't see any animals in the presence of the rock and the Bear Patrol. However, the absence of tigers have little to do on whether or not the rocks keep the tigers out of the city. Its similarities are minor. The rock is an inanimate object and has no purpose repelling tigers compared to the Bear Patrol. Therefore, the differences between them are major. Here, Lisa points out that Bart is actually using the false cause policy, which, is ca which can be explained more in depth from the other students' videos. Thank you for watching. Now that you can recognize weak analogies, you can go off and figure out how to better your own writing.